gone, but certainly not forgotten. Friends and family of Cheyenne Lee Tatnell brought to tears as they try to come to terms with the loss. You may feel angry, shocked or cheated that Cheyenne's life ended so tragically. The much-loved daughter, sister and granddaughter now laid to rest. Her family remembering her kind and spirited nature, her love of dancing and singing and her ability to light up a room. She delighted in being the centre of attention and grew to be a bubbly and energetic young girl. In a tribute read out, Cheyenne Lee's mum, Bobby Lee, spoke of the emotional toll her death has taken. I didn't get to tell you just how much I love you and that you were my life. The hurt I felt when you passed cut me so deep, I will never be complete again. Cheyenne Lee was last seen walking along Henry Street in Launceston on April 30. She was on her way to visit a friend, but never arrived. Police and SES then launched the largest search in northern Tasmania's history to try and find her. Two weeks ago, officers found her body in bushland near Nebola in Tasmania's northeast. Sleep peacefully, beautiful girl. Our love goes with you. She would have turned 15 earlier this week. Just over two weeks ago, police charged Scottsdale man Christopher Mark Jordan with the teenager's murder. The 36-year-old is still yet to enter a plea and will next appear here in the Launceston Magistrates Court on Wednesday. Jessica Moran, ABC News.